So I would like to welcome everyone to this presentation today on the Modelytics Library for the Cadence Spectry Simulation Platform. My name is Chris Martino. I'm a Sales and Applications Engineer in Modelytics, and I would like to thank CMC Microsystems for hosting this webinar today. And also, just as a reminder, we will be taking questions at the end of the presentation. So Modelytics and CMC Microsystems have been working together to bring the Modelytics Exemplar Library to CMC's affiliated researchers. Modelytics, which is about to celebrate its 20th anniversary, has supported many universities worldwide through its models, which have been used for academic projects and coursework. You can see some of the many Modelytics University program members here on the slide. These include Queens University, the University of Ottawa, the University of Calgary, and many, many others. You can see a more extensive list on our website at www.modelytics.com. Here you can see that some published articles that Modelytics helped to support through the university program. These include highly linear dual capacitive feedback LNA for L-band atmospheric radars and multi-layer antennas with harmonic filtering for differentially fed power amplifier integration. Again, you can find more information on the university program page on our website. So now let's talk a little about Modelytics. Modelytics provides the RF microwave and millimeter wave engineering world with precise measurement services and accurate simulation models for both passive and active devices. Models are available for components for many of today's popular vendors. The models include enhanced features that provide designers with a great deal of flexibility, and each model comes with a detailed data sheet. Also be aware that Modelytics models are available for several industry standard EDA software tools. And finally, don't take our word for our models. You could read many customer testimonials on our website. In this particular testimonial that you see here, this customer actually stated that it feels like you're driving blind without using Modelytics models. So now let's discuss the advantages of using Modelytics models over ideal component models and typical S parameter files. First, Modelytics develops all its models using consistent measurement and modeling techniques. As a result, all models are measurement validated. Model features include part value, substrate, and solder pad scalability. Part value scaling, in particular, makes the models well suited for tuning and optimization, and substrate scalability is also an important feature. In contrast, an S parameter file is created using just one specific substrate. So if you're using a substrate that's different, you could end up with results that differ from the S parameter file data. Lastly, other model features include temperature dependence and statistical analysis. So let's talk about the Modelytics CLR library. The Modelytics CLR library is a large collection of models for capacitors, inductors, and resistors. Again, these models include features like substrate and part value scaling, like we just mentioned, and also path scaling and pad removal, which we'll get into a little bit later. The library contains microwave global models, which we'll describe in more detail um, on the next slide, I believe. And also keep in mind that the CLR library is actually a subset of the Modelytics Complete Library, which is Modelytics' premier product. Also, be aware that the CLR library contains models for components of various body sizes and, and part values for many of today's popular vendors. So microwave global models is something that's unique to Modelytics. What makes a microwave global model unique is that a single microwave global model covers a full range of part values for a vendor component series. These models are extremely scalable as they include part value, substrate, and solder path scaling. And thanks to the part value scalability, these models are very well suited for tuning and optimizing and design since a single model covers a full range of part values. They're very convenient 
for uh, when, when you need to do tuning and optimization. So the Monolithics Exemplar Library is now being offered through the university program to CMC's affiliated researchers for free for one year. The Monolithics Exemplar Library is available for Keysight ADS, Keysight Genesis, Cadence AWR Design Environment, ANSYS HFSS, and now Cadence Spectry RF. The Exemplar Library contains about 15% of the full collection of models that are found in the complete library. So let's discuss the Monolithics Library for the Cadence Spectry Simulation Platform. This library offers an extensive selection of capacitor, inductor, and resistor models. Again, all models are measurement-based. The models are developed using specialized measurements under device-specific test conditions. Again, we, we spoke about scalability uh, before. These models scale with respect to substrates, part values, and solder pad dimensions. In addition, every model comes with a detailed data sheet that lists information like recommended model validity ranges, text fi test fixture details, model to measurement data comparisons, and more. Also, you can perform a uh, tolerance analysis because the models also include a statistical analysis feature. So that's built into the models. Now shown here is a sample of some of the models that are available for the Cadence Spectry simulation platform. We currently offer models from many of today's popular vendors, including the likes of AVX, Coilcraft, Kemet, Vichy, uh, Johansson, and, and many, many others. They're all included in this library. So as an example, let's look at a, uh, a microwave LOBA model for a Kemet capacitor series. So as you can see here in this user interface, Users can specify the capacitance value, the substrate parameters like thickness, uh, dielectric constant, as well as the solder pad dimensions. You can also click on the display data sheet button that you, see, that you see there at the bottom in order to display the data sheet like that. So this is a typical model data sheet that, that you'll find. And here you can see, uh, again, model features, model description, and various plots across uh, various substrates and different part values. So the data sheets come with a, a lot of information. Now we spoke about part value scalability uh, as an example. Uh, what we see here are plots for a microwave global model for a V-shay capacitor part family. Because the model scales with respect to the part value, we can perform simulations over different part values. So here as an example, we have S11 and S21 plots of, of this V-shaped capacitor series with different capacitance values, uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.7, 4.3, and 68 picofarads. And you can see how the, how the performance scales appropriately as we change the part value. Again, S11 is on the left and S21 is on the right. Again, we spoke about substrate scalability before. So here's another example. These are S11 plots of an AVX 2.7 picofarad capacitor on various substrates. So the red trace corresponds to the performance when using a 6.6 .6 mil Rogers 4350B substrate. The blue trace depicts the performance using a 20 mil 4350B substrate. And the green trace represents the performance when using a 60 mil Rogers 4003C substrate. And you can definitely, you can clearly see how S11 changes as we change the substrate. So this demonstrates the importance of using substrate scalable models. We spoke earlier about data, data sheets. Every, every model in the Modelithics library comes with one. The data sheets include uh, information like model features, development information, a description of the input parameters, validation ranges, uh, reference plane information, solder pad dimensions, as well as plots that contain uh, comparisons of modeled and measured data. You can visit the Modelithics website for a lot of useful literature. Uh, we have application notes, 
uh, published articles, white papers. We also have videos and presentations and brochures. So please uh, be sure to check out our website for all of these uh, resources. So in summary, the Modelithics Library for the Cadence Spectry Simulation Platform provides designers with an extensive selection of models that represent thousands of components. The models are scalable that allow design details like substrate and solder pad characteristics to be specified and simulated. And finally, all models are measurement based and come with a detailed data sheet. For support with the download and installation, please contact CMC Licensing Support. And for support with the Modelithics Exemplar Library models and features, please contact Modelithics Support at support at modelithics.com. Well, that's it. We hope you enjoyed this presentation today. 